What's up guys, Cursor Man here. It's Wednesday, comic book day. I'm freaking glad it's finally here. It seemed like it took forever. Uh, I haven't done a video since last Wednesday because I really haven't had much going on. Um, but uh, anyway, so I'm back. I've been watching all y'all's videos. It's been awesome checking out all your stuff. Um, uh, <clears throat> you'll see my heading. Uh, it said Vampire of the Hell Heavy. Can't even talk tonight. Um, I got a lot of Vampirella books this week, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got Vampirella. I'm not going to show you all my Vampirella stuff yet, because... Um, oh, I'll take that back. I'm going to show you that stuff last. I'll show you my pickups for this week. Um, picked up uh, Spider-Man, issue number four or five. Um, pretty cool cover. Uh, got... Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man here or something must have happened to him. Can't really remember the story. I think they left off. They were being surrounded by all of their enemies. So I uh, got Peter Parker there holding uh, the little Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, pretty cool. The glare is pretty terrible. But, uh, so yeah, I got that. Just here. <coughs> of course, I had to pick up uh, issue number 18 of The Mighty Thor. This is, uh, 50 Years of Thunder, so Everything Burns is a prologue, so this is probably going to be the last story arc before the new Thor comes out, which is something else I want to talk about. The, uh, the new Thor is like, I'm, I've been reading up on it, and in my opinion, it's going to be something really good. I think they're doing a good job with uh, um, the, the, well, I can't say I, they're doing a good job because I haven't seen it yet, but from what I've read, it's going to hopefully be a good job because the way the guy's taking it, he's taking it three parts of Thor's life. You got young Thor before he even gets more near, and it's like in the Viking days when he has a battle axe, so um, that should be pretty cool. And then it's going to come to current day Thor, and then it's going to go into future Thor where it's uh, he's a king of a torn down Asgard. So, um, and the artist, uh, he did the um. He did some of the artwork for the uh, the, the Thor and Loki um, series, the Marvel Knights series. You y'all probably seen that. Um, I've shown it in some of my videos. There's a DVD he did, and uh, it's really more uh, kind of a realistic look to it than this uh, the comic -y look that they're doing right now. So hopefully the art is going to follow through like that and be really cool. Um, we'll just have to wait and see, but. I'm just happy that, you know, they're rebooting and hopefully this one will stick for a while, so who knows. I think this uh, current run right now is going to go up to issue 21, so that kind of, that would make sense. Because that would be three issues from now, so that's about a current arc, I it's a good story arc, so. Uh, anyways, this is Everything Burns, The Mighty Thor, issue number 18, for the long. <coughs> So hopefully, like I said, it's going to turn out to be a good thing that they're rebooting it. Um, so we'll see. Yeah. And I think they're probably going to start picking up the Hulk because I've been reading a little bit about his reboot and it looks kind of cool too. So um, we'll see. You know, and maybe this reboot is not going to be a bad thing after all. Uh, picked up issue number 12 of Batman. Really cool looking cover there. Should be a new story arc. The last one ended um, this past issue, I believe. So I think that's right. No, maybe not. Um, I think they're getting ready for the Joker to come back in the next issue. So I'm not sure. I gotta read up on it. It's been a while. It's been like, uh, awesome, great Capullo cover. His his artwork's always amazing. You can't go wrong with him. So uh, yeah, it's Batman number two. And all right, here we go. Finally, to all the Vampirellas. <clears throat> this week, the annual number two came out, and this is a beautiful cover. I love it. It's a classic uh, look of Vampirella. It's got her little pet bats, really cool skull and stuff in the background there. It's awesome. Um, it's just uh, yeah, amazing cover. You really can't go wrong with Vampirella covers. They really uh, uh, do a bad job on these things. So yeah, that's annual number two. I don't have annual number one, so I gotta get that. 
<coughs> this is issue number 20 of Vampro that just came out this week. Another really awesome cover. A lot of cool bats in the background there. And then, these are the really cool, this is the reason I said Vampro Heavy. Um, Y'all know I've been collecting the, uh, I want the back issues of the original Warren Magazine Vampirella. So, I went to my comic shop today and I've asked before, he hasn't had any. So, uh, I happened to walk by the counter and he just got some in. So, uh, this is issue number 48. I don't have any bags for these yet, so I gotta get some. It's got a little bit of damage on the cover. So, it's like it was some sort of, uh, Advertising or something maybe on there. Can't tell us. Yeah, who knows? But uh, yeah, this is 48. Other than that, it's in real good shape. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I gotta check this out here. It's talking about the major motion picture from Hammer Films, 1976. Just I'm have to look that up. Uh, got issue 54 of Vampirella. Another awesome one. A little bit more realistic with that uh, cover there. This really advertising color in this one, so that's something that most of the Vampirella comics in the book are really black and white, so that's really cool. Uh, and uh, the last one I picked up, issue number 79. That's a really cool looking issue there. Looks like it's going to have Panther in here and a couple other people. Really cool Chinese dragon. Really cool. 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 Got all these for five bucks, so you know, you can't, can't beat that price. You know, these magazines are packed with stories and it's, it's always so, you know, it's worth it. The artwork in some of these things, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but it's really, really cool. Kind of gives you an idea what it, you know, what it looks like. So, um, that is it for my comic book haul this week. Uh, I will, um, should have some packages coming in pretty soon. Uh, I'm gonna trade uh, with Mongo Stomp Time and also purchase some Thors from uh, Monster Model Builder. So I should be, I'm looking for that stuff to come in pretty soon. So. <coughs> So I will throw up a couple more videos whenever I get that stuff in the mail. But uh, until then, y'all take care. I look forward to seeing your videos. Hope you're having a good week and uh, good weekend coming up. So I'll talk to you later.